Aloha everyone, welcome back to another video. If you happen to be new here, my name is Cherie. I live in Hawaii and in today's video, we're gonna continue with our 100 envelope savings challenge. At the moment, this is the only challenge that we are currently doing. After we stuff our lucky picks, I will go ahead and go over our weekly check-in for week number two of August, 2021. If you guys are new here and are not yet subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button and also the notification bell to be alerted of new uploads. So let's go ahead and get set up and see what envelopes we pick. Our first envelope is going to be $17. Let's go over here. We have an $18 envelope. And let's just pick one more. We'll see what we get. $34. So I'm going to get my cash together, get these stuffed, and we can fill in our tracker. Like usual, one of these envelopes is going to get more money than expected. So first off, we have our $17 envelope. 10, 15, 16, 17. Put that in here. The $18 is going to get the exact amount, 15, or I'm sorry, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. And lastly, our $34 envelope is actually going to get $35. Um, just one dollar extra, so that's not too bad. And lastly, I have to get the tracker so we can fill in what we're currently doing this week. So I'm going to just use one of the highlighters. They just have a, big, a better pigment. So we have a 17. I know a lot of people are also doing the 100 envelope challenge. I've gotten numerous comments, Instagram messages, whatever you're doing, you're doing it for yourself. So even if you can't even stuff maybe two envelopes a week. Even if you just do one, you are still participating and working toward your goal. So once again, if you guys are new to the channel or if you're a returning subscriber, let me know how you guys are doing. What envelopes did you guys pick this week? Now that we got this over with, let's go ahead and set up for our weekly check-in for August week number two. We'll be checking in from Friday the 6th to Thursday the 12th. So on Friday, I went to the little store. I spent $4 there. On Saturday, we needed to pick up some groceries, which came out to $91. At Ross, I actually went with Alec, and we got a few things for our condo for next month. That was $37 from our mark, uh, mock budget. Um, at McDonald's, I got a iced coffee using my McDonald's app. That was only a dollar. Alec actually had to get a haircut which was $28 with tip. And then the Hawaiian towel payment came out $77.93. Since we're already on this page, I will let you know that on Thursday the 12th, it was a great no spend day. So flipping over to this side now, um, we're continuing at Sunday the 8th. That was also a no spend day. We took it pretty easy. Um, we didn't go out at all. And then on the 9th, I actually had the day off. I went with uh, my mom to Ross and we got some stuff for the upcoming condo purchase. We also visited Marshall's, but my mom actually paid for what we were gonna buy. So I'm really thankful for that. And then Alec treated him, himself and his parents to Local Moco, which is one of the like local eateries around here. He spent 37 and then continuing into the 10th and the 11th, these were both no spend days except for the 11th, the iCloud came out. So it wasn't a too bad, crazy, hectic 
um, spending week. Let me quickly flip over to the um, expense tracker that I keep. So as I'm looking at this right now, I did notice that I forgot to put two other um, stickers on the monthly layout. So if there's one piece of advice that I can have for you folks, if you guys are willing to, I would highly, highly, highly recommend to track all of your expenses, whether it's just variable or variable and fixed. So I do both variable and fixed expenses. I just like to keep it here to be mindful of where all of our money is going. Um, but as you guys can see, this is from the 7th to the 9th. I did forget to put two stickers for the 7th. So Alec actually had to get gloves and sweatbands for his hard hat. That was $70. We took it from his work sinking fund. And then um, we also got some more home stuff, which was $47. And uh, that came from our mock budget. So I'm going to have to go back and put a couple more stickers on the monthly layout. Um, but if you guys are curious, I am still a credit card user. So there are a few things that I still use the credit card for. So um, for the sinking funds, of course, we got um, the gloves and the headbands from Amazon. You can't pay cash with that. So I had to go ahead and use my Discover credit card. Once I, you know, take the money out, I just make a little note in my head before I used to do like a little check mark. But I know I've already taken these, um, you know, the monies out of their respective places. But yeah, that's what I do. So Discover, I use that um, for the home stuff. I also use this. This was actually from Scrub Daddy. I watch a whole bunch of TikTok. So I got some stuff from there. Um, I use my Discover card. And then I would just be taking the money from the mock fund and paying myself back. But that's just a quick little overview. If you guys track your expenses, let me know how you guys do that, how you guys like it. Um, I just think this looks really pretty. But overall, guys, that's pretty much all I had for you. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week or rest of your day whenever you're watching this. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great day, night, evening, weekend, and take care. Stay safe. Bye, guys.